All right, folks, here we are looking at a John Deere Model 66 plow. Um, I needed to replace tires and wheels, so I'm in the process of reassembly. Um, we're looking at the land side wheel, which means the, the tire that runs up on the unplowed ground. This is a hydraulic lift. So I'm going to show a little bit about what is involved with the wheel bearing. So characteristics of the two digit plows when they came with factory rubber wheels is that uh, they have spoke wheels. As you can see, um, spokes that meet the rim. This is a factory spoked wheel. If by chance your plow has flat spokes it, and they are welded to the rim, if you can see a weld where the rim meets the spoke, it's either been re-rimmed or it's been cut off from steel wheels and made into rubber tire. But this is factory rubber wheel, rubber tire. So everybody wants to know what is inside the wheel bearing on these, on these plows. A lot of people picture Timken uh, tapered roller bearings. They are not. You have a inner sleeve which pins through the axle with a pin. There's this pin right here. Pins through the axle that holds it on. There's washers on either side of this flange. Um, this makes up the lateral play or takes up the slack on the lateral play of the wheel. If your wheel has a lot of lateral play, most likely it needs some more of these shims. That's how you tighten them up. Uh, there is a point where you can add too many shims, so be wary of that. So uh, we're going to simply put the wheel on, put the pin in to pin the axle uh, bearing to the axle. I'm going to slide this wheel right here over this. I'm going to put this outer cap on and attach it with these bolts and cap screws and then grease heavily. Uh, the reason these bearings lasted so long is they're extremely hard and uh, when greased properly they'll virtually run forever. 